This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're gonna talk about carpet beetles. I get asked questions all the time about carpet beetles. I uh, don't know why I don't have a video on carpet beetles, but now I do. So we're gonna talk about the elimination of carpet beetles and how you can do it, how you can do it on your own and save money over pest control. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate everybody showing up on my live streams. I got live streams every Thursday night, usually after 9 o'clock. And uh, come in, hang out, ask questions. Uh, if you have a question that needs to be answered quicker, you know, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I read every comment, every single comment on all my videos. If you're interested in the pesticides that I talk about in my videos, I also have a link to that below in the description. Just click show more in the description and you can see the link to my Amazon page. Everything is listed really easy to find there. Um, <coughs> so that's enough self-promotion. I'm not trying to promote myself. I just want you to be able to get the tools you need to get rid of the problems that you've got. So carpet beetles. Why are we talking about carpet beetles? So carpet beetles, you know, you think beetles, like ladybugs or, you know, beetles aren't something that usually really bother people. Um, but carpet beetles are unique. The carpet beetle in its larval stage, it's like a little worm, like a little fuzzy worm. Not, I mean, the hairs aren't all over its body, but they have hair that they like to shed and break off as they crawl over surfaces. Those little teeny hairs. Now, carpet beetles feed on dust, skin cells. Um, they feed on hair. They feed on, you know, natural fibers, wool and, and silks and things like that. So, um, why are we talking about them? Well, because the hair on their body, when they break these little hairs off their body, those hairs, people are allergic to those hairs. Um, it's like a, like a shedding of a dog. You know how dogs will shed their hair and the hairs break off and come out all the time. And uh, I mean, I got a wife who sheds like a dog, her hair is everywhere all the time. And, you know, people get hair everywhere all the time. And so carpet beetles do too. They, when they're in the larval stage, the little worms that crawl around, they got all those little fine hairs all over their body. And they will shed them. They break off as they crawl across different surfaces as they feed on, like I said, dust and skin cells. And they will cause some people, not everybody, but some people have a mild reaction to carpet beetle hairs. If I could talk right today, words are hard today. But, um, so those hairs, it, because a carpet beetle crawls across the surface, your arm may come into contact with three or four of those hairs in a row. And when you look at those little bumps that form, kind of look like bed bug bites. And so people assume that if they've got those marks on their arm, that they have bed bugs. But in fact, if you'll check the video, I'm gonna link right now on uh, when a bed bug is not a bed bug, a video I just did recently, uh, it go, I go over carpet beetles and I explain how carpet beetles are misidentified as bed bugs all the time. It's a really common thing, especially if all you have are bites. If all you have is the reactive bumps, the little bumps on your body, people will look at them and say, oh yeah, sure enough, you got bed bugs, when really it's just carpet beetles. So how do you eliminate carpet beetles? How do you even know if you have carpet beetles? How can you find them? That's what we're talking about. Like I said, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. But flip your bed up, you know, like you're doing a bed bug job. Take your mattress off the box spring and flip the box spring up and look around the staples of the box spring. A lot of times carpet beetles will burrow into these places. It's a really common thing to have dusty dirtiness under the bed. It's a place that's not really cleaned that often. I mean, unless you have like a little Roomba robot or something going around cleaning under the bed, 
you, most people don't clean under the bed. They might clean once every so often if they move the bed, but it's not something that gets done and not to the, not to the standard that will keep carpet beetles out from underneath the bed. So the carpet beetles get under the bed and they start feeding on, like I said, dust. Your dust consists of about, what, 80%, I think it is, of dead skin cells? Stuff they love to eat. I mean, that's like their favorite. They like to get into the skin cells and the, and the hides. Like if you had a mouse die in the wall or something, they eat the, the fur. They eat, uh, I had a hunter one time had a deer head, and it ate up the, the, the box. The um, carpet beetles were all over the deer head. And so, you know, there's stuff like that you got to think about. Natural fibers, things that, like wool, they like to get into woolen sweaters and stuff like that. So you found the carpet beetles. You're like, wow, yep, sure enough, that's carpet beetle casing. Because they shed like a, uh, they shed their skin like a bed bug, but it's actually a cocoon because they go through metamorphosis. Beetles are metamorphosis like a butterfly. So they are like little larvae, crawl around, pupate, and then they shed their skin and become a beetle. So this is, this is how they, this is what people find on their bed. They find the discarded casings of carpet beetles. So you need to, uh, you know, clean your bed, vacuum, you know, all that good stuff. And then you want to uh, go through and service underneath the bed in the cracks and crevices around your baseboards throughout the entire house. You want to treat around your windows and doors. A lot of times bed bugs will actually come into the house through windows, through doorways, from outside the beetles themselves. And the beetles will come in and then they will lay the eggs in places that the carpet beetle larva will be able to survive. So treat around your windows, treat around your doors, the cracks and crevices all around the house. And the pesticide you're going to want to use to do this is, uh, is called Tempered. It is, in my opinion, not one of the best pesticides on the market. It's, it's, uh, it, it allows for the retreatment of your house every seven to ten days. It's, um, you know, it doesn't last as long as some other pesticides, but it does kill carpet beetles. It does a really good job eliminating carpet beetles, and you want to mix, I believe it's a half ounce to a gallon, but you want to really check over your labels. I think it's like 16 milliliters or something like that to a gallon of water. And so you want to make sure that you read your label and mix it to labeled strength. Now, it does allow for a weaker labeled strength for things like bed bugs. It's like eight, I think it's eight milliliters for bed bugs, but I don't recommend tempered for bed bugs at all. I recommend, uh, Crossfire for bed bugs. Crossfire is really effective for bed bugs. Not so much for carpet beetles. Carpet beetles aren't even on the label for crossfire, but carpet beetles are on the label for tempered. And so I recommend tempered. And you can treat your yard with granules, but it's not really required. You really want to do a good job around your windows and your doors, inside and outside your home, and around all the baseboards, as many as you can get. Even if you have to pull like your dressers and stuff away from the wall, because carpet beetles are very invasive. They like to hide in lots of, lots of dusty places. And so where furniture isn't moved very often, behind entertainment centers, underneath dressers, chest of drawers, nightstands, you know, big heavy furniture that people usually don't move, those are the places you want to target for the carpet beetles. And if you treat these areas, you'll stop having carpet beetle problems. They'll just all die. Carpet beetles are very easy to eliminate. They don't, they don't, it doesn't take much to kill them. And so hopefully this video has been effective at teaching you how to effectively get rid of carpet beetles. And so you can stop getting these weird little bumps on your body and stop being afraid that you have bed bugs. So y'all have a good one. It's a short one. It's an easy one. So hopefully you guys can get rid of these bugs and, uh, Stop having this problem. So, <laughs> Y'all have a good one. And don't forget, live streams every Thursday night. Check me out. I usually try to get the kids in bed first, and then I jump on there usually after 9 o'clock, and I start answering questions. There are times where I've been able to get in earlier, and I will try to get on early. I know a lot of people watch me from England and Germany and different places, and it's awful late over there by the time uh, I'm able to get on and live stream. And I'll try my best to get on as early as I can for you guys, but... Uh, sometimes it's just not not possible but y'all have a great one uh, follow me um, be sure to like the video be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get these notifications when these videos go live and I'll be seeing you in the next one thanks a lot and have a good day